a surge in cases of a rare autoimmune disease during COVID-19 waves in England led to the discovery of a new syndrome. Researchers have discovered a new autoimmune syndrome associated with COVID-19 that can cause life-threatening lung disease. The syndrome, which scientists have dubbed MDA5 autoimmunity and interstitial pneumonitis contemporaneous with the COVID-19 pandemic, or MIPC for short, is a rare, serious condition in which the immune system inadvertently attacks the body. In the worst cases, the lungs end up so scarred and stiff that the only way to save the patient is a full lung transplant. However, only a portion of cases involve the lungs. Two-thirds of cases did not have lung disease, but eight cases rapidly progressed and died despite all the high-tech therapies. The disease looks similar to the known condition MDA5 dermatomyositis, which is seen almost entirely in women of Asian descent. In it, patients experience joint aches, muscle inflammation, and skin rashes, and in two-thirds of cases, they develop life-threatening lung scarring. MDA5 dermatomyositis happens when the immune system attacks one of its own, a protein called MDA5 that normally helps detect RNA viruses. Such viruses include those that cause influenza, Ebola, and COVID-19. To better understand autoimmunity against MDA5, hospitals associated with the University of Leeds in Yorkshire began screening people with autoimmune symptoms for antibodies against the protein. Back in 2018, they found three patients who fit the bill. They saw another three cases the following year and eight more in 2020. But then, in 2021, there were suddenly 35. The patients carried anti-MDA5 antibodies, but their disease was different from the previously known dermatomyositis. Most cases didn't involve the lungs. New patients were mostly white rather than of Asian descent, and affected women only slightly outnumbered men. Researchers had been using a computational framework to take medical testing data and find common threads between conditions. Scientists compared medical records from patients with the mystery condition. Patients with COVID-induced pneumonia and patients with lung scarring unrelated to viruses. Patients with pneumonia and the autoimmune condition both showed increased activity in the gene IFIH1 which provides the blueprint for MDA5. Most patients with the mystery syndrome did not have a recently confirmed case of COVID-19 in their records, but it's probable many were exposed to the coronavirus and had either mild or asymptomatic disease. More than half of the patients were confirmed vaccinated for COVID-19, although which specific vaccine each person got is unknown. The new study suggests that exposure to the coronavirus's RNA, COVID-19 vaccines, or both may sometimes trigger the production of anti-MDA5 antibodies. Normally, MDA5 activates when it senses viral RNA in a cell and prompts the body to make antibodies against the virus. But in people with MIPC, this immune response goes wrong. Either the body mistakes the MDA5 protein as foreign and attacks it, or the RNA kicks off such a strong immune response that the body's own proteins, including MDA5, become targeted for immune attack. The researchers found that the activation of IF, IH1 came with a flood of an inflammatory protein called interleukin-15, IL-15. IL-15 activates a class of immune cells that normally kill infected cells, but can sometimes go rogue and attack the body's own cells. Scientists alert doctors to start thinking that if you see there was some exposure to virus or the vaccine or just a contact to somebody who had COVID and they come in with joint pains, rashes, aches, let's look at the lungs. The researchers are still collecting data, but new cases of MIPC now appear to be slowing in 2022, Yorkshire saw 17 cases about half of 2021's rate. The intense RNA exposure of the widespread COVID waves of 2021 plus mass vaccination may have driven that year's spike.
The researchers said they have received reports of possible MIPC from other regions as well. The study also uncovered a particular genetic sequence within the IFIH1 gene that, in people who had that sequence, seem to prevent the runaway IL-15 inflammatory response. The next step is to understand why others are vulnerable to it. Thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed our videos, subscribe to our channel for there's more to come.